the execution of various movement control orders to restrict the spread of COVID-19 has resulted in an increase in the number of job losses and as a result, a 200,000% increase in the country's unemployment rate to 718.1,000 in 2020. The epidemic has an impact on new entrants to the labor market, particularly recent graduates. With an increase in the number of unemployed graduates, the competition for work is becoming more difficult. There are four types of unemployment. The first one is frictional unemployment, which occurs when people voluntarily change jobs within an economy. Next, the cyclical unemployment is the variation in the number of unemployed workers over the course of economic upturns and downturns. Other than that, the structural unemployment comes about through a technological change in the structure of the economy in which labor markets operate. And the last one, the institutional unemployment, result for long-term or permanent institutional factor and incentive in the economy. The obstacles are my own financial reasons and I feel like I need to learn more skills before I get a stable full-time job. The issue of unemployment has always been a hot topic of discussion nowadays as now everyone is competing to own a job in order to continue survival, especially graduates. After graduation, of course, work becomes their main focus. But based on the study released by the Department of Statistics Malaysia, is quite alarming. It shows an increase every year in graduate unemployment. Here, I show the increasing movement in unemployment statistic in Malaysia. I further narrow the scope based on a study called the Graduate Tracers Study. Both public and un private universities produce a total of 51,000 graduates in a year. Yet about 60% of graduates remain unemployed a year of after their graduation. 55% of these unemployed graduates are believed to be degree holders. This shows that a university graduate has no guarantee of getting a job immediately. Moreover, the unemployment rate among the new graduates rose to 25% in 2020 from the previous year, jumping from 13.8%. In 2020, from the point of view of the period of unemployment, more than 70% of unemployed graduates will be in active unemployment, comprising 158.4 thousand people. Before the pandemic of COVID-19, the factor that led to the increase in unemployed graduates was lack of skills among graduates. Because nowadays, companies need those who are holistic, competitive and skilled in multiple fields or uh, termed as multitasking. This is to ensure that their company's performance is always excellent. Next, demanding attitudes among graduates. According to a study, 64% of graduates overly choose a job or company. This causes graduates to take a long time to get jobs because they are very picky. Lastly, because of the unstable economy facing by Malaysia, this is hard to avoid. To work in this challenging economic era is not as easy as it was a few years ago because the work structure has changed, technology has advanced and human skills are competing with new technologies and so on. In the other words, during an economic recession, companies will usually try to reduce their production volume by reducing the number of workers. The COVID-19 recession has exacerbated the already challenging labor market conditions for Malaysia's youth. Some firms have difficulties in paying their workers' salary as a result of a retrenchment of workers to minimize operational costs. There are also cases of freezing new hiring of workers. Hence, this pandemic worsened the economic situation whereby the rates of graduate underemployment and graduate unemployment are rising. Malaysian youths have continually registered higher level of unemployment and also withdrew from the labor force at a rate substantially higher than for other age group. Job losses also rise in 2020 compared to 2019, especially in the middle and low-skilled jobs. 
The challenging labor market condition as a consequence of the COVID-19 pandemic resulted in fewer job openings and increased competition. As shown in the statistic, the unemployment rate had increased from 3.9% in 2019 to 4.4% in 2020, and more than 75% of unemployment graduates were actively seeking work. There are 5.36 million graduates in 2020 and 4.35 million of the graduates are in the labor force. Around 68.8% of graduates in labor force are in skill category, which is decreased by 0.8% from 2019. The remaining 31.2% are in semi-skill and low-skill category, which is increased by 3.3% from 2019. This group of graduates could be classified as mismatched in occupation as they did not fully utilize their education and skills. Graduates who have the economic pressure to pay off education debt, be devoted to parents and survival, will just take any job opportunities available even studying outside the field. For example, there are science graduates who work as marketing salespeople and engineering graduates who do food delivery services. Yeah, for your mention, my job now is as a teacher, which is, is not related to the field I took in university because I took course of Mahmalat that more focusing finance and banking. Uh, it is not about the uh, pressure my career, it's because uh, the high demanding from the cost which is too high which is mostly company need at least 3.5 GPA or 3.2 and and need at least a year working experience so I don't think that I can get a job from the for the bank that at least uh, have the English fluency because my English fluency is not uh, very good and my CGPA at my university is not uh, excellent it's not very hard to apply because there are so many there are so many uh, platforms to apply. Next, we will discuss about the impacts of unemployment among fresh graduates. Firstly, is skills deterioration. Long-term unemployment can erode abilities, effectively stripping the economy of potentially valuable talents. Simultaneously, the experience of unemployment, either direct or indirect may change how workers plan for their futures as long periods of unemployment can contribute to greater skepticism and pessimism to individuals. Next is productivity issue. The labour market will eventually reach a point where each additional job created does not generate enough productivity to pay its cost, rendering every subsequent job inefficient. This is just like in the labour market, often known as the output gap. The output gap grows and falls in sync with the economy. When the labor market is underutilized, eventually there will be a negative output gap. Lastly, unemployment will reduce the gross domestic product, which is the GDP. Actual GDP will fall short of potential GDP when the unemployment rate is high. This is known as the output gap. There will not be enough new employment generated to accommodate all new job searches if GDP growth falls below the rate of labor force growth. As a result, the percentage of workforce employed will decrease. To put it another way, unemployment will continue rising. Do you prefer to hire fresh graduates or workers that already have experience? Why? Our preference is more for experienced workers for certain departments, especially for critical and most important ones. However, fresh graduates are not left behind. Experienced workers used to have advantage on carrying duties more effectively compared to fresh grads whom need to be trained. Do you think that fresh graduates should be offered high positions? Why? No, high position means more responsibilities and need to make decision. Decision making must come with experience and know how on the whole process. Do you think that fresh graduates lack of expertise and general knowledge is an obstacle for them to secure a job? Why? Yes, fresh graduates on degree level is not competent enough. Knowledge on job must be obtained first. What is your advice to fresh graduates before applying for jobs? Get to know the whole process of using the method of top-down. This knowledge could be obtained by experiencing the real situation, not by reading per se. I see. Thank you so much, sir, for your time and cooperation. Sure, you're most welcome. For the conclusion, we come up with measures to overcome unemployment problem among fresh graduates. First, opportunities for job creation through entrepreneurship initiative. The unemployment and poverty of the population are two major concerns that our country's development strategy must address. Entrepreneurship classes might motivate individuals to start their own business. Self-employment opportunities will be created for a huge number of people as a result of such programs. Second, education and training programs to provide students with relevant skills. 
Students in Malaysia should focus on acquiring relevant skills and information. Institutions should also place a greater emphasis on creative and critical thinking skills. This will enable students to think outside the box to solve tasks rather than following a book. Third, through government policies. The government can overcome unemployment problems among graduates through fiscal policy. Through fiscal policy, aggregate demand can be increased along with the rate of economic growth. This involves cutting taxes and increasing government spending. Disposable income increases because of lower taxes which will help to increase consumption. Fourth, take full advantage of internships. Internships provide people with the opportunity to learn about new types of businesses. They are permitted to learn a trade, get experience and possibly even claim a position. Most business owners nowadays want to recruit people who have prior experience in their field. Fifth, create our own job position. During the financial crisis, many businesses were forced to lay off a considerable number of staff. Many more went out of business because they couldn't keep up with the bills and debt. The solution in this scenario is for people to start their own businesses because job openings have been reduced. Last but not least, Malaysia's young unemployment issues are particularly acute during these difficult times. High employment rates among young adults and recent graduates imply quality deficits and skill mismatch. The economy continues to create low-skill, low-wage positions and the number of self-employed people grows across the board.